So I'm here with uh, Karunaratna Bandara, who uh, is, a, is my teacher, and I started learning from him at the age of six. And I'd like to ask him uh, his impressions and ideas about what I am doing now with taking influences from traditional Sri Lankan music to create something new. Sri Lanka means that it's a Tahana Tuling, a Pedeshi, Vardani, Sahan Artani, Videshi Kanta, Handuna Ganimi of a Stau, the other. He says, saying, Videshi, a Bera Vargateka, a Pedrit man. Saman the Kotagana, Sam Pradai, Ritme, and Gatilakshana, located Prechalitakaran Hudama Vasta. So he just told me that um, he sees it as an exciting opportunity to take traditional music and adapt that to a new era uh, for a new creation which could potentially take it uh, worldwide and make it accessible to those around the world that is born out of Sri Lanka or the Sri Lankan traditional music and giving it a worldwide audience. So I just asked Bandara what his thoughts are about teaching um, people outside of the Sri Lankan culture and uh, he's just told me that um, on his tours uh, internationally he's taught people or done workshops with people where he's had similar experiences but what he finds special about this particular group is that they've come with a, a sense of rhythm and a sense of understanding that is deeper than other students that he has seen from outside the culture before. Um, they have studied Jimbe uh, with Ray and other obviously being to Ghana, others have been to Ghana and done other tours and that um, pre-existing knowledge and tenacity to learn has made it very enjoyable and easy for him to teach much more than, than it has been before.